What's happening everybody and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project and in this video we are back in UFC 4 with the career mode featuring Malcolm Riley and this is episode number four. All right and here is Malcolm Riley and if you'll remember from the last episode we knocked somebody out. We are in the World Fighting Alliance. We had our first knockout and that's not too bad. We've got one win in the World Fighting Alliance. And we've got another fight offer to get to. And let's get to that here in this episode. All right, here's our fight offer. It's Wayne Suarez. He looks kind of weird with that beard. The hype is very low. We got four weeks max training camp length. Our starting fitness is going to be moderate. We're going to get a couple bucks to do this fight. Now, Wayne Suarez is 10 and 0 as a welterweight. He's 24 years old, 6'2", 169 pounds. And we don't know anything about him. We don't know his fighting style. We don't know his overall. We don't know his moves. We're going to have to do all of that in training camp. So let's go ahead and accept this fight. All right, we're going to pick three weeks to train. And we're simulating to training camp, everybody. All right, thank you. All right, Coach Davis says, time to bring some fresh blood into the gym, Malcolm. Want me to make some phone calls? You know, I'm cool with the way things are now, Coach. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, Wayne Suarez. I give you credit. You stepped up. Now I'm going to have to sit you down. Oh yeah, Wayne Suarez? Well, let's respond to that. Well, maybe we should taunt the fighter, Wayne Suarez. Surprised? I hope you didn't think I'd turn down an easy opponent like you for my debut. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, Wayne Suarez, you can suck it. All right, here we are in training camp. Let's go ahead and watch some tape and learn some information about our opponent. Oh, we have now learned that Wayne Suarez is a half a star overall rating. Wow, that's kind of shitty. All right, we're going to watch some more tape. we got to learn about this chump. Oh, we have learned that Wayne Suarez is jujitsu. That sucks because I hate being on the ground. All right, let's hype this fight up a little bit. Let's go with some promotions. All right, gain hype by throwing exciting strikes while your fans watch. Don't get hurt while streaming live. It could reduce your fight hype. Let's go ahead and stream a sparring session. All right, here we go. Streaming your sparring sessions allows your fans to get an insight of your training preparation. Spinning, flying, or cage strikes and submissions will attract fans. Getting hit will cause them to leave. Crap. All right, here we go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, see? How about some of that? Huh? Oh, we punched him in the face. Punch him in the face. Let's block. Oh, how about that? Oh, karate kick. A karate kid kick. How about some of that shit, huh? Boom! Mm -hmm -mm. Oh, how about that to get some hype going? How about that to get some hype going? Stream this shit in your face. Uh-oh. All right, let's get up. Let's get up. Oh, God, he's got us. Let's get up. All right, come on. Get up, chump. All right, get him in the clinch. Uppercuts. Oh my goodness. This should get some hype right here. This should get some hype right here. We just kicked that guy's ass on tape and streamed it live. Achievement unlocked. Knock out your training partner during a stream session in your career. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that ends the first week of training camp. Let's move on to the next week. All right, we're going to hype up our fight again. We are going to hand out posters. I mean, that's pretty grassroots right there. All right. And then I tweeted, keep a lookout around town for my posters. And now we're going to post to social media. Look at that. Wayne Suarez better watch out. No one's training harder than me. Got about 40 points left this week. Let's go ahead and watch some tape. Oh, it looks like we don't have enough points to watch any tape. Looks like it's time to spar. All right, our boxing partner is injured. Let's go ahead and train Muay Thai. All right. Let's see what you got today. Speed and power. That's it. All right, speed and power. Let's go. Muay Thai. Muay Thai likes to clinch. And we like these knees. There we go. How about some of that? Make a little body kicks. And we got some head kicks. We knocked him down. We don't want to injure this guy. I mean... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? All right. Get him in the clinch again. How about some more knees? Wow, we are kicking this guy's ass. Jab, jab. Jab, cross. Oh, body kick. Little body kick again. 
having a body kick again. I'll get him in a clinch. Little leg kicks. Clinch again. Leg kicks. Oh, body kicks. Clinch. Knees. Oh, we are kicking this guy's ass. Oh, oh, we tried for an uppercut. Now we got him in a clinch again. Little uppercuts. There we go. Oh my god. We knocked him out again. All right, and thus ends week two. Let's move on to week three. All right, we got 100 points to spend here. Let's hype. Gotta hype up this fight. Post to social media. All right, let's watch some tape again. And we're gonna learn some of his top moves. Shoulder locks, leg chokes. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. All right, and we're gonna watch some more tape on him. We're gonna learn some of his attributes. Grappling, striking, and health. That doesn't help us at all. But that's it. That's week three. Time to go to the fight. All right, we got tweets coming in. It is fight week. And if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. If you like what you see here, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your UFC 4 is going. Let me know if you think Malcolm Riley is going to be the best fighter here in the UFC, or at least in the WFA, or may maybe he'll end his career early with an injury. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks a lot for your support. Keep on watching. Let's get into this fight. All right, we're fighting Wayne Suarez. We have medium hype because we've been doing some social media. And as you can see on the right part of the screen, we're getting tweets left and right. We got a lot of support going on here, except for that tweet, which says we're going to have a losing streak. Well, that person can suck it. Oh, here it is. Malcolm Riley versus Wayne Suarez, the guy with the really stupid looking beard. At the WFA. All right, Malcolm Riley. Gonna try some kickboxing techniques in this fight here. And here we go. Oh, okay, all right. All right, don't forget, we got a block. Oh, okay, all right, he's hitting us, we're hitting him. Oh, having a kick to the face. Couple jabs. Oh, and a kick to the face. And a kick to the body. Gotta watch our stamina. That's been a problem with us this whole time. Oh, a couple jabs there. Oh, front kick to the face. Couple jabs. Oh, a little hook. Another hook. Missed on that hook. Oh my god, knocked him down. Knocked him down. Oh, uppercut. Up against the fence. We're punching him in the face. We gotta finish this fight here. Oh, uppercuts again. Uppercuts again. We're on top of him. Ground and pound. Ground and pound. Oh, and we knocked his ass out. 30 seconds into the fight, Malcolm Riley shows his dominance. And holy crap. Wow. Look at us. Take another look. Uppercuts. He's hitting us. We hit him in the right spot. We crumbled him to the floor. And then we move in on the ground and pound. We're punching his gloves. And that knocks him out. Man, raise our hand up. WFA, the World Fighting Alliance. We're going to take it by storm here. All right, Malcolm Riley victorious over Wayne Suarez with the knockout in round one. Looks like a minute and 30 seconds in. We kicked Wayne Suarez's ass. Oh, there's a replay. That's going to be posted on social media how we knocked his ass out. That's embarrassing for Wayne Suarez. There's another look at it too. Oh my God. That's just embarrassing. All right, we have another fight offer. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, this is Hugo Azevedo. Well, the, you know, it's funny. I did a FIFA series, a youth edition, and Hugo Azevedo was one of our star soccer players from Brazil. I wonder if it's the same guy. We are going to go ahead and accept this fight. All right, we got three weeks until the fight. Let's take advantage of all three weeks. All right, here we are in training camp. We're going to go ahead and hype up this fight. All right, we're going to hand out event posters. That's always a good way to hype up a fight. All right, now we're going to post to social media. Look at that. Camp is going great. Can't wait to get in there and showcase all my skills. All right, we got 40 points left for this week. We're going to go ahead and spar. All right, because it's only been three weeks since our last fight. We're going to hit the heavy bag because it's a low risk of injuries. All right, here we go. Punches to the body. Here we go. All right, we're 
we're kicking the heavy bag's ass. Here we go. Here we go. Well, there's some combinations. Gotta watch our stamina. Got a minute left. Forty-five seconds left. I think we're gonna get this goal here and get some of those uh, evolution points. Here we go. Almost there. There we go. All right, four hundred damage on the heavy bag using combinations. All right, here we go. Got some combinations going. All right, we got work to do, but don't worry about. All right, well, that didn't go so well, but that's okay. All right, here we go, advancing to week number two. All right, it's week number two. What do you think? Let's hype up the fight a little bit. We're going to post to social media. No way that Hugo Asvedo is training harder than me. This fight is mine. That's a good post. All right, so we're going to invite a fighter to our camp. It's Santiago Ponzinibbio. I don't know if I probably said that all wrong. I don't care. It's Santiago. He's pretty much the only one we can invite right now. We're going to invite him to our camp, and if we do good, we can learn the jumping roundhouse, which is pretty damn awesome. Today, I want to see you sharp and quick. All right, sharp and quick. That's us. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. All right. Keep your hands up. Oh, all right. We got one. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome, the jumping roundhouse kick. We got a new move. Yeah, we also got five evolution points. We learned a new move. We're going to use this in this fight coming up for sure. All right, moving on to week number three. All right, it's week number three. Let's watch some tape. All right, we've learned that his overall is half a star. whoop de doo I want to watch some more tape. All right, we've learned that his fighting style is a kickboxer. That's pretty awesome because that's what our style is. All right, let's hype up this fight again. Posting to social media. Hey gang, bet on me in my next fight. I'm training to beat everyone. Okay. All right, now it's time to do some sparring to end out week number three and get ready for this fight. All right, here go we go. And crush this. Go in there and crush this. Okay. Land kicks to the head. Oh, that's a punch to the head. There's a kick to the head. That's one. That's two. Oh, God. Okay, I'm sorry. We don't want to knock out our partner here. All right, hey. Oh, all right, okay. How about this one? Remember this move? Oh, yeah, that's our new move right there. Yeah, nice kick. Yeah, you fell down. Oh, okay. There we go. That's three. Oh, my God, that was awful. I think we knocked him out. Oops. Oh, shit. All right, we got some stuff leveling up all over the place. That's pretty cool. All right, y'all, it's fight week against Hugo Asvedo. Let's get in there and whoop his ass. Oh, here it is, the WFA. Malcolm Riley versus Hugo Asvedo. There's the tail of the tape. It went away pretty quick, so I couldn't read it. That's fine. We don't need to know it. Here's what we know. We're going to do a flying roundhouse kick thing that we just learned right here. Oh, he blocked it. Shit. Okay, we're going to try it again. Oh, my God. And we got him in a clinch. Now we're giving him some knees. All right. Oh, that was awesome. We heard him with that. We heard him. Let's do it again. Oh, shit. Taking him down. Ground and pound. Oh, we knocked him out. This is like a specialty of ours. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, he's got us now. He's got us now. All right, here we go. You know what? Let's get up. Let's let him up. We're going to have some fun with this guy. Come on, ass. Ah, he missed me. Oh, hit him in the face. Kick him in the leg. Jab, jab, jab. Flying roundhouse. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Jab, jab, flying roundhouse. That guy can suck it. He's laying in a pool of his own spit. And look at us. In the WFA, just, oh, oh God, cracked him right in the side of the face. One more time. Oh, I think we almost took his head clean off. 
That is awesome. Raising up the hand, Malcolm Riley kicking everybody's ass so far in the WFA. Where's Dana White now? And look at that, wouldn't you know it, another knockout. A minute, 20 seconds into the round. I mean, we are on a tear. We might have to up the difficulty here. Malcolm Riley, Hugo Azevedo didn't even stand a chance. All right, we got some cash, 5,625 bucks. We gained 813 fans with that. We didn't have any injuries. We got two more evolution points. That brings our total evolution points to 16. I think we can use those at some point to level up our, our moves and stuff. Oh, there's another look at it from somebody's cell phone that was in the front row, apparently. And that's brutal. Here's a look at it from the back. The jumping, flying roundhouse kick and just absolutely annihilated Hugo Asvedo. And that's awesome. All right, Coach Davis says, love when the phone rings and some good news. You got to invite to Dana White's Contender Series. You know the drill. Fight at the top level immediately or take a little more time to build your game up. The choice is yours. Well, here's what we're going to say. I think I'm ready, Coach. Actually, I know I'm ready. Bring on Dana White's Contender Series. We gained a contract, Dana White's Contender Series, and that is awesome. I'll tell you what, we're going to sign this contract. I don't know what's going to be on the other side. Probably some more fights. Hopefully they're a little bit more difficult, but man, we are becoming a force to be reckoned with. All right, we got another fight offer in Dana White's Contender Series, and that's awesome. And we're going to do that in the next episode. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me and sticking with Malcolm Riley as he's going to fight his way to the top. And what's next after Dana White's Contender Series? Probably the UFC. And we just want to take this career mode all the way so that Malcolm Riley can try and be the next UFE, UFC welterweight champion. And that would be awesome. Then he can retire and get a whole bunch of money. But again, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for the support on this series and all the series on the channel. Don't forget, if you like what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your career mode's going, whether or not you have UFC 4. What do you think? What do you think of Malcolm Riley's chances here coming up and going forward? And as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers here in 2020. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And I appreciate you guys watching. And most importantly, I appreciate you letting me be a part of your day. And we're going to see you in the next video.